been chosen. I submit this video as an update to the Peace Corps controversy. Briefly, a team of YouTubers discovered within the HTML file of YouTube videos words that show how the channel promotes or demotes competing videos. Content rating system to determine ad friendliness was also discovered. Universally, network channels get the highest Peace scores despite inferior audience interest compared to other channels. YouTube Advertiser's channel has a video showing how the Peace score drives video promotion algorithm. Christopher Claflin did a video called Hacking YouTube's P-Score, What's Really Responsible for Your Success on YouTube. This appears to be the most recent dedicated video on the topic. Put up three months ago, it only has 60 views. Hey, what's good everybody? I've got a story for you. A couple days ago I was um, just kind of scrolling through YouTube and I stumbled across something that was interesting. I stumbled across this video put out by the tech at Realm, and it was about this single line of HTML code that determines your channel's success. It determines how big your channel is going to get, whether or not YouTube lets you go up through their algorithm or they're going to just keep you a teeny tiny channel. With her. And this was discovered a few months ago by some internet super sleuths, and when they came out with this, like, discovery and they were like hey what is this thing like what's this p score thing like what are these numbers youtube covered up that piece of code and they tried to bury it basically this youtube insider explained that the p score is essentially a credit rating for your channel and it measures a bunch of different things but it's just it's all about how well ads can be served on your content there's one line from this whole seven minute video that the tech at realm uploaded that tells us pretty much everything we need to know about not only the p-score but youtube's algorithm at the moment what this guy said is um about the p-score this, this is an exact quote more so it's based on brand suitability but simply put the higher the score equals more ads and viewers and again i haven't seen their code but I would bet serious money that this is how it works. Because like I said, this is how it works with everything. I mean, we've worked on projects with almost this exact same functionality in it. those deleted entries now I'm going to show you an update five months from that time period just to further prove that web crawler page saving was removed for that time period likely due to the p-score issue this is the YouTube channel of the very popular host Stephen Colbert Colbert Here's Steven's page when searched in the Wayback Machine. These are the months of 2019. Notice how for the month of October, there's a huge chunk of days where there are no entries. And then for November, the dates of web crawl activity resume. This year, 
for all the months, the web crawl activity resumed to normal. But just for that period there, there's a huge hole. I no longer have this, but I suspect that this was all done because I had sent a tweet when I discovered that you could actually pull up the material using the Wayback Machine. The tweet was read, and then the next morning, for all these major platforms, this information was removed from the Internet Archive. I mean, yes, we know that the late night shows are allowed to be more popular than the regular creators who created the platform in the first place. But is it really necessary to go to this length? So there's a conservative YouTube channel named The Red Elephant. Back when this Peace War thing first rolled out, I went ahead and took the code from the web page for one of his videos. This was prior to the code being hidden by YouTube. And I plotted that code into a program that's called Notepad++. This is the program Notepad++. And here's all the code from a given video. The change that YouTube made before and after the big P score rift was they removed any information from their code that related to information about ads. As an example, I will control F or search AdSense for this code. Again, keep in mind, this is before they hit everything. You see the words AdSense appearing in gray throughout this page? Now let's go to the code as it appeared after YouTube made their policy change and removed all of the words relating to ad revenue. Controlling F, AdSense. So you see it's not there. Now there is some very interesting information that I assume YouTube and Google do not want you to see regarding how ad revenue is determined for a given YouTube video. Let's take a look at some of these phrases that's seen in this code. We have reason, brand, safety, policy, disable, Google sold reservation ads, in-stream type skippable, in-stream, DV, teen, this is the rating of the video, reason video on channel page, reason brand safety, policy, disable, Google sold reservation ads. Feature video is allow ads by via human review. Here's some more interesting ones. Feature video is throttled for overlay. Not safe for advertisers baseline. No ad requests. General grant video. Content suitable for families. Ad system AdSense viral. Video feature, sorry, feature video is throttled for not claimed by uploader. Video meets additional sensitive criteria for reserve. Hidden within this text is a reason why some channels succeed while other channels fail. We know the platform is very tight lipped with regards to giving any information regarding why some videos are ranked the way they're ranked in the YouTube P-score system.